That's a bit. It's a bit bright out here. So right now, I'm actually about to go to my mailbox so that I can go pick up a package. And if you're reading the title of this video, you already know what package that is. But let's get to it. I do. Yeah, I do some filmmaking too. All right, what's going on everybody? <laughs> Thanks for driving back by. Today I'm gonna to unbox my, today I'm gonna to unbox my lunchbox package from Full Sail. And this is actually a day, this is a day I've been waiting for for about nine, 10 months. Um, I've been trying to get into school for like two years, finally got in and the months of hard work have paid off and student loans. So first we're gonna unbox this box I have off to the side. Hold on just a minute. All right, so this is a pretty big box. The first of two, let's see what we got in here. All right, first, I do get a sheet of paper that tells me the list of contents that should be in this box, and I need to go over it to make sure I received everything. So the first thing is the Sony FS5 camera, 64 gig Sony SD card, a Sony microphone, a Sony headphones, and a camera bag for the camera. That's awesome. That, that's quite a bit, <laughs> actually. Okay, so so I guess this envelope is with the, what has the memory card in it because it says memory card on it. Nice. That's a UHS-2 V30 SD card. So it's a V30, not a V60 or V90 but it is a 270 megabytes per second read and 70 megabytes per second write. That's not bad. I have some faster ones, but this is still good. All right. I don't know why, but I'm really excited about these headphones. Professional 70, wait. 7506 sound monitor headphones. Wow, these look really nice. These are some really nice Sony headphones. I think these, how much do these cost? I'm actually gonna look this up. Okay, so if I were to go to Guitar Center or Sweetwater to get these pair of headphones, even B&H, these would be about a hundred bucks for this pair of headphones. So that's, it's not bad. It also has an adapter, a screw on adapter for uh, a quarter inch. So you can go from 3.8, not 3.8, you can go from 3.5 millimeter to a quarter inch on the little ad adapter that comes on the inside. So set that down there. Okay, the next thing in the box is the condenser microphone. The microphone that's supposed to go on top of the camera. Oh, that's okay. It 
Well, I wasn't going to pop this open until I got the camera open, but I really want to see what this looks like. So I got an XLR cable for the mic. Where's the mic at? They really got this thing in here. Ah, there we go. Man, that's nice. Ooh. All right, it's got it's got quite a few settings on here. That's nice. I can't wait to try this one out. I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, but I'll take all this extra stuff. I'm gonna set it right back in here with the XLR cable and the attachments. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Throw this, and then the bag. Man, we'll get to the bag in a little bit, but this is, this is the bag. It, it looks like I can carry quite a bit of stuff in here. Oh yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get to this. We'll talk about this in a little while. If this video is too long, I'll talk about it in another video. But for now, put that to the side. All right, here's the camera. Hold on. All right, Sony FS5 Mark II. Okay, I'll move this mic out of the way because I'm gonna start yanking everything out of here. All right, this is the LCD screen that goes on the FS5. Um, so I'm gonna put this back in this little protective cover and set it off to the side for a minute. This is the grip handle that you would have your hand in for when you're holding it. Goes inside the, on the side of the FS5. All right. Ooh, all right. I guess the G stands for G Master. Is this actual G Master lens? Oh, nice. At least I hope it is. Yep. I think. Well, it doesn't necessarily say G Master. It just says G. But it's E-mount. This is the 18 to 105 millimeter F4 Sony E-mount e lens. It's actually pretty nice. So it's an F4 aperture. The filter thread is 72. So if you have... Um, any ND filters you want to put on there, it's a 72 millimeter. But since the camera comes with built-in ND filters, um, you wouldn't necessarily need one unless you just really want to put one on. But if you wanted like a UV filter or something like that, that'd be good. 72 millimeters on the lens for the filter thread. And then you got your little lens shield for light. So that would actually go on, on like this. Actually, hmm. maybe I'm overthinking this, and that's just a simple click on. There it goes. So it would actually go on like this. That's what it looks like. Set this off to the side. All right, I might have to take a sit down because my back's kind of hurting. But even if I sit down, we'll still be able to continue. All right, so far. Mm -hmm. 
this so far this box does have the headphones the shotgun mic the sd card the camera bag and we're pulling the camera out as we speak this is in here actually really good comes with a booklet this is the battery charger the battery it is a bpu 30 battery and then we got a little remote that actually comes with it nice i guess it has start stop and fast forward and stuff functions on it that'll be nice uh a usb to micro usb cable an eye cup and another little adapter. I'll figure out what that is for later once I read the instructions. Man, there's so much. All right, what is, it? okay. So this is the grip handle for the top that you would hold. I'll pull this out. So yeah, you would have the shotgun mic here and then you have your zoom functions, uh, your record stop and start, and you got your hot shoe mount, your mic holder and whatnot. Um, you got a few extra additives on this to add other attachments and stuff. You got your XLR input right off to the right hand side of it. So that's pretty good. And then last but not least, at least I think this is last, you have the body, the actual FS5 Mark II camera body. It's a little smaller than I expected, but with everything added onto it, it actually looks a lot bigger. But by itself, this is what it looks like. So that's what you get. Of course, lens goes right there on the front. You know, your mount goes over here, your handle goes up top. Battery goes back here. You got an HDMI output, SDI out. Ooh, SDI out, nice. Um, what was this? You got ethernet. Got another XLR port down here at the bottom. Headphone jack over here off to the side. Um, a spot for two SD cards. And then you got your USB, micro USB plug-in all inside of that as well. And yeah, it's really nice. Put this off to the side over here. All right, so we're gonna put this down and we're gonna to go to the next box. All right, so the next box. Okay, so we went through the first one. Everything was in there, looked all good. All right. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so, so far I have Stage Master 25 foot XLR cable, microphone XLR cable, because there are light XLR cables for mics, for lights. But this one is an XLR cable for mics, M-I-C. Okay, this looks like a, ooh, it's a Westcott 40 inch reflector. That's nice. I've been wanting to buy one of these, but I haven't. <laughs> Actually, just to give somebody props that I've worked with before, T Jolly, she actually did a video about these reflectors. Um, I actually tagged her video in the last video I did, but if you need to check her out, I'm gonna put her video at the end of this video. 
and I'm gonna throw up some more videos of her. She's actually a good creator, um, but she did a video about these as well, which that means I'll be watching that video to kind of get an idea of how to use these because I've never used them before. Okay, so now we got our inventory list, XLR cable, Apple USB-C SD card adapter, which I have one already, but if there's another one in here, that's dope because I'll have two, which is awesome. The reflector, three Westcott lights, and a Manfrotto tripod kit. Ooh, that's nice. All right, let's pull this out, guys. Yep. Yep, yep, I do have another USB-C to SD card reader. I'm excited about that. It's the little things. It's, it's the little things. But anyways, let's continue. That's a affirmative on that one and an affirmative on the XLR cable, affirmative on the Westcott reflector pack. Oh, okay, you know what? That's kind of heavy, so I'm gonna pick up the next one, other one first. All right, so I had my sister help me pick this box up. <sighs> I would go through an explainer of why I couldn't, but we don't have time for that. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up now. I think I got some dome lights. Yep. Looks like two of them might be a box shape and then the other one might be an octagon. And Westcott is a really good brand. Oh my God, I can't, I'm trying to, I wanna like tear this open and really open it up. That's some really good material there. All right. Don't get too excited. <laughs> So currently, just for reference, the two lights I have lighting this scene right here, I have a Godox SL60W, and that one is at 100% intensity. And then on the other side, I have a mixed, put together situation of a light. It's a newer light dome, and I have a Walmart light bulb. Actually, no. It's a colored light bulb, but I have it on the daylight white balance color. And I have a newer light stand that this whole contraption is set up on. So, huh? No, no, I'm good on that one. I just wanted for comparison reasons to what I'm pulling out. Okay, so. Oh man. This is nice. Oh, and I can turn it on from the cord. Cool. So I am going to need a light bulb put in here, which means I probably have some light bulbs inside this pack, which that's totally fine. So I have three of these. And I have three light stands. Oh man. Similar to the ones I already have, but it, it just it looks more durable. That's nice. 
Westcott. So I got three light stands. I'm not gonna pull those out just yet because I'm very familiar with light stands. All right, so these are the light bulbs that are supposed to be put inside of the light domes. They're 45 watt daylight dimmable LED bulbs, 44,000 lumens, 93 CRI, uh, tungsten cap included. So I can, because it's not it's not a bicolor bulb, but it is dimmable, so I can adjust the brightness. But if I want to change the color to tungsten. I do have a, a cap I can put on to adjust the color, which is nice. That's really nice. But the good thing I see here is also that since it's bulb related, if I wanted to get different bulbs later, I can upgrade my bulbs if there are better ones. So that's a plus to some degree. And here's the dimmer remote switch. Awesome. I don't have to touch it. I can just hit the remote. So I got three of these bulbs, three stands, three sockets, pretty much similar to the setup I have over here with the newer, but instead it's all Westcott, which is, from my opinion, a better setup to have. Really enjoy the fact that I just got Westcott lights. I was expecting to get LED light panels, but I'm glad I got light domes because I, I planned on buying an LED panel, but I'd really wanted more light domes. So this is cool. All right. Okay. Let's put some of this stuff back in here. I'm gonna take this out and set it up later and go through it some more. But for now, if I can get it open. All right. I'm trying to hurry up. Looks like I might be running out of time on the recording. This is one of those moments I wish I was filming with the Canon C70 so that I wouldn't have a time limit on my recording or a Sony a7 III. Oh my goodness, this is a nice tripod and it has a case. Oh wow. Whew. It's got that nice fluid head, Manfrotto mount. What, what kind of plate is that? I think it's similar to what I've used already. No, it's a little different. Oh man, I can't wait to really get, put this to use. Nice. Looks like it packs up pretty nice too. Okay. Uh, Cool. All right, guys, this concludes the unboxing.